morning, uh, Mayor, Council, and citizens of Austin. And I'm including the citizens of Austin this time because I know there are many people in this city and in fact right in this building who would like to see an end to fluoride in their water. Um, and among the people in this room, I'm sure, are some of the 15% of the population who suffer from fluoride-related um, health conditions such as diabetes, thyroid, and so on, including some right up there on the dais. So uh, good morning to all of you. And uh, I have signed up to speak against this resolution, but um, I have thought about it, and although it's bad, the consequences are so unpredictable that I'm going to change my uh, position to neutral on this one. Now, last Friday, I looked up for the draft agenda and saw that slide up there, um, right, right as it is, with the charming uh, formatting problems, the uh, city clerk's name is correct, I believe. And it said the city council supports the city manager's recommendation to do all the following. I thought, hmm, city manager's recommendation? What's that all about? Anyway, um, the current papers suggest that it's in fact the recommendation of the uh, Public Health and Human Services um, Department here in Austin. Uh, whoever's recommendation it actually is, it boils down to a couple of points. Uh, one is continue to keep Austin water fluoridated because the Atlanta-based Centers for Disease Control says so. And the second point is to post information about fluoride in infants, that's infant formula, fluorosis, and so on, on the city's website. That information is already there. Um, they're proposing to distribute it more widely in Spanish and English, and even through mail outs. That would be wonderful if it were an honest sort of information, but in fact it is spin and that is the problem with it. Now, uh, these points all came out of a couple of meetings of the Public Health and Human Services uh, Committee in October, October 18th, and followed by one on uh, November 22nd. At the October 18th meeting, um, a long line of highly qualified Austin citizens spoke out against water fluoridation, giving their reasons. They were ignored by the council, which then proceeded to swoon over uh, basically the CDC presentation, which is what the uh, public uh, health department uh, rubber stamps. Then there was another meeting uh, quite similar uh, the next month uh, in uh, November, and in that one, well, to backtrack a little, apparently there was dissatisfaction about the fact that nobody showed up in October to represent the pro-fluoride side. So pro-fluoride speakers from the dental societies were specifically um, invited for the next meeting, and they spoke and gave their time. Okay. Now at this, the. Uh, Public, the Austin Travis County uh, Public Health and Human Services Department presented a good deal of mis misinformation, but I'm going to speak to <coughs> only a small part of it. Oh, this was the November meeting. At the November meeting, Mr. Uh, Rivera made the statement that only one organization had ever withdrawn its endorsement for water fluoridation. Um, now, I'm not a great believer in endorsements because they can be bought and are, but I'm, I'm going to illustrate um, just how sloppy the city's work was. According to Mr. Rivera, a review had been conducted to find out who supported water fluoridation, and that uh, review consisted of cribbing from uh, 
American uh, Dental Association propaganda pamphlet called Four Vision Facts. They have a compendium at the end of that uh, at the end of that document. It's a 70 page document. And they keep this up to date of the various organizations that formally support water fluoridation. This came right out of it, right to the type bonds, you can see. But they didn't use the most recent version of it. And Mr. Rivera stated that only one organization had ever withdrawn its support of water fluoridation. He was quite wrong about that, and I need to uh, point out which ones have. Those appearing right on the slides he used. National Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, no longer. National PTA, that's in the last few years, I remember when they stopped. National Research Council and the American Veterinary Medical Association. A lot has come out about what this does to horses. Uh, they couldn't support it anymore. And then not on the slides, uh, but earlier were another bunch just the ones I identified, the EPA, the USDA, the Mayo Clinic, the ACLU, the American Psychiatric Association, and the Indian Health Service, all at one time or another endorsed it and, had, and then had their names removed. And uh, more important than who endorses is who doesn't. And you can go to that website down there and actually get, get to the, uh, Opinion, up to date, as I said, the latest version. And here are words you will not find in any supporting organization. Bone, diabetes, kidney, arthritis, thyroid, endocrine, toxicology, brain, neuro, anything, heart, cardiac, chiropractic. They don't. So, so much for that. Now, the other thing I wanted to address is the information that is on the city's website and has been there for the last year and a half. Uh, back in 2006, actually starting in 05, the uh, National Research Council, another of those organizations that has withdrawn its, um, its endorsement, was asked by the EPA to, uh, to produce a report on the safety of fluoride in drinking water. And the report came out in 06, and their conclusion was devastating. It was not safe. That was their conclusion. So based on that, the American Dental Association and the uh, CDC actually saw fit to start thinking about warning, uh, warning the public about the fact that fluoride in drinking water when mixed with infant formula, was, it produces dental fluorosis. It can, and it was increasingly doing so. And they were concerned about, about that. So they issued some guidelines. Best, what? I'm sorry to interrupt you. I paused your time, so this didn't cost you time. But mm -hmm. uh, on this uh, sign up, yes, I see Laura Presley donating three minutes mm -hmm. to you. He's also signed up to speak, which you can't do. So uh, 